Hey team, I hope you all are doing well. Today's topic, I want to go over how long does it take to train for a 20 minute 5k, uh, a sub 20 minute 5k that comes out to 626 per mile for 3.1 miles or four minutes per kilometer for five straight kilometers. So in terms of how long it takes to train for a 20 minute 5k, I would focus like I always talk about in other videos. I think it's real important to focus on a longer buildup rather than a shorter buildup. Uh, anytime you're you're trying to cram um, speed development type workouts and tempo runs in, in a short four to eight week uh, block of training, it's very hard because it takes the body about three to four weeks to adapt to any stress load you're placing on it. So if you're trying to get ready for a, a, a fast 20, 20 minute 5k like you're aiming for, you have to th think about, okay, what are the chances? How do I increase my chances of running 1959? And definitely a longer buildup. So in my, my opinion, I think a minimum of 12 weeks, preferably 16 weeks to prepare properly for a sub 20 minute 5k. And again, um, also when you're trying to run under 20 minutes for 5k, highly competitive time, I would not try to make a move. If, if you're say a 22 minute 5k athlete right now, and you're trying to get to 1959, I wouldn't try to make a move until you get past that first mile of the race or past the one, you know, 1 1.6 kilometers in to that 5k. A lot of athletes, it's natural to want to take off and run very aggressively in the early stages of race. Maybe you want to be up at the front, maybe you want to, um, you know, be running with the lead pack. But at the same time, it's much more fun to be passing people in the last mile of, of a 5k rather than getting past in the last mile. So I think it's very important to, to keep in mind do the very best you can to run a negative split. So run faster for that second 1.5 miles of the race um, rather than going out running really fast, running far too aggressive. Maybe, maybe you're trying to, the first half you go out and say you're running an 18-minute flat 5K pace, and then you ended up running 23-minute 5K pace for the last uh, half of that 5K. It's just not a good feeling. So I think in terms of, the question of how long does it take to train for a 20 minute 5k minimum of 12 weeks, preferably 16 weeks. Okay. Um, three months to four months, especially four months is really plenty of time to, to train properly into a lot sufficient time for your body to adapt to the hard training you're doing. Um, definitely you have to get accustomed to running far faster than six minute mile pace or getting under six minute mile pace or running your, per kilometer pace, preferably down around 320 kilometer pace, three minutes and 20 seconds. Um, you know, whether that's in, in repeat kilometers on the track or, or doing portions of your long runs at that type of pace where you're kind of running a, a few minutes at 320 kilometer pace or around 350 kilometer pace or running right at four minute kilometer pace. So you're running at goal uh, 5k race pace. And it might just be for a few, few seconds to a few minutes at these types of intensities. But if you're combining that, that, that type of strategy where you're not just running long, slow and easy every single weekend, like most runners do. And I was one of them myself. So I admit too, you know, the, when I was getting involved with, with marathon running, I would always run long, slow and easy every single weekend. I'm sure. I would do speed training. Um, e even when I was training for the 5k in, in high school and college, uh, I never conceived of the idea of maybe I should be doing my long runs at faster paces. Okay. Now when I, when I'm talking about, I, I can, I recommend you doing faster, very paced long runs. Definitely do not run fast every single weekend. Okay. You have to allot sufficient time for the body to adapt in order for you to get a high return on investment. Again, you're trying to go after a very competitive 5k time, anything under 20 minutes, you really have to be in great shape. Again, 626 mile pace for 3.1 miles or four minutes per kilometer for five straight consecutive kilometers takes an athlete that is very physically fit, very mentally fit as well. Um, if you're wanting to break 20 minutes, not only do you, in terms of your duration is, you know, definitely, like I said before, recommendation is 12 weeks minimum, preferably out to four months. Um, but definitely start implementing mental rehearsal, mental visualization. Okay. doesn't take more than about 10 minutes per day to do this. Best time to do is when you first get up in the morning or when you're, when you first go to bed at night, uh, just turn off the devices and visualize yourself getting across the finish line with 19 something on the clock. Okay. 
you have to tr you're, you have to train the the mind just equally as you train the body. Okay, the, the the big mistake most runners make is we focus so much of our attention on physical preparation. And yes, you do have to train. You know, one VO two max workout per week, one tempo run per week, one long run per week, and you have to make sure you're jogging during those easy days so that you can get a high return on your investment and make sure that your body is reacting and adapting to those harder anaerobic workouts you're doing. But you also have to make sure you're visualizing yourself doing something that you want to do before it actually comes to fruition. Okay. So the best world-class runners I've trained with over the years, they combine both mental and physical training and and this doesn't it doesn't matter if you're trying to break 20 minutes for the 5k or you're trying to break a, a 230 marathon or trying to break a 30 minute 10k if all you're doing is focusing on physical training and you're bypassing mental rehearsal mental preparation mental training and you're not visualizing yourself doing what it is you want to do on top of the physical training you're only doing 50% of the work so if you really want to take your racing and training to the next level start making this a part of your preparation okay again it doesn't take more than about 10 minutes a day um, but just spend some time each day and it doesn't even have to be when you're first getting up in the morning or when you go to bed at night I mean, it can be throughout the day just kind of see yourself performing passing people running relaxed running strong and getting across and seeing yourself running across that finish line with 1920s on the clock or 1940s 1959 whatever it is but anything under that sub 20 minute time barrier that you're going after because again you're training that you're you're combining both of the principles together and again great running success comes about when you focus on what are the top runners doing okay average runners might do this but the world's best runners what are their daily habits study what they do okay this is what i did over the years when i first started running in 1992 as a freshman in high school i was always visualizing myself competing at the at the top level and i never quite made it to the olympics i never made it to that type of level but um i did get to a point where i was running at an elite level where i was out running kenyans when i was out running ethiopians and other athletes from other parts of the world and so it was always on my mind and i was always constantly focused on not only my physical training but also mental rehearsal and seeing myself running at levels that I was not currently capable of. Okay. You know, even when I was a 243 marathoner, when my PR was 243.36, I wanted to break 222. I wanted to be under an Olympic trials B standard time. So even as a 243 marathoner, I saw myself continually over and over and over again, getting across the finish line with 221.59 on the clock. So, and it eventually happened. I ran 219.35. So I broke the A standard instead of the B standard. So it's the same with you. It doesn't matter if you're, regardless what uh, distance you're, you're aiming for or what type of time, in this case, sub 20 minutes, always implement this tactic. Combine both mental as well as physical. Again, a short buildup is, like I said before, it would be very difficult for you to get in great shape in a matter of four to eight weeks. You're going to get in decent shape. You will build endurance in a matter of a month or two. But if it was me and I was trying to break a 20 minute 5K time, I would focus on, okay, I would focus on a longer buildup minimum 12 weeks, preferably out to around four months. And even maybe out to five months, maybe I would spend four weeks running easy and then start a 16 week block of training. And I do have uh, training plans on rundramachieve.com from anywhere ranging from eight weeks for athletes that have minimal amount of time to train for their uh, races out to six months, 24 weeks. So definitely check out those resources that are there for you. Uh, definitely uh, you can check out the resource below all my videos as well like this video and share it with other athletes you may know or um, and family members friends co-workers that that are trying to run under this time or trying to run a faster 5k period it doesn't matter if it's 20 minutes but I hope these strategies and tactics help you to eventually run 1959 or faster for the 5k let me know in the comment section below what is your current personal best for 5k and what is your your goal for the distance uh, what are some things that have been bothering you and what are some things that you know are working well for you? I'd love to hear that. And I, as you all know, definitely, I will definitely um, respond to any comments you or any questions that you have uh, under any of my videos. So hope this is helpful for you all and I will talk to you all in the next video.